Document Files Document files are the most familiar faces in the digital crowd. Think of them as the digital equivalent of paper, used to store text, structure, and sometimes images. The most popular examples? .docsx from Microsoft Word, .pdf from Adobe, and .txt for plain text. Microsoft introduced the .doc format in the 1980s, evolving it over time to support images, tables, and more in the newer .docsx. What do they do? They capture everything from resumes to research papers. PDF, short for Portable Document Format, was designed to look the same on every screen, making it the go-to for contracts and printable forms. In the real world, you'll see .docs used in offices, .pdf in legal documents, and .txt in programming or simple notes. Strengths? They're readable, shareable, and often cross-platform. But watch out for compatibility issues. Not every app reads every format flawlessly, and some hide formatting landmines, image files. Image files store pictures, but not all images are stored equally. The main contenders, .jpeg, .png, .gif, .bmp, and .svg. The .jpeg, or JPEG, created by the Joint Photographic Experts Group in 1992, is perfect for photographs, compressing images to save space while keeping them decent quality. Meanwhile, .png, portable network graphics, supports transparency, making it ideal for logos and designs on websites. Then there's the classic .gif, introduced by CompuServe in 1987, known for its looping animations. BMP, bitmap, is raw and bulky, mostly obsolete now, while .svg is a scalable vector format used in modern web design and UI. Each type shines in different settings. Photographers rely on .jpeg, designers swear by .png, and meme culture thrives on .gif. Strengths? Compression, quality control, transparency, scalability, weaknesses, file size bloat for high-res images, and some formats, like .bmp or .tiff, just aren't internet-friendly anymore. Audio files. Want to store a voice note, a song, or a podcast? You need an audio file. The heavy hitters. .mp3, .aac, .flac, and .ogg. MP3 released in the early 90s, revolutionized digital music. It uses lossy compression, shrinking files by cutting out sounds humans can't easily hear. The result? A massive reduction in size with minimal quality loss. WAV, developed by Microsoft and IBM, is lossless. Huge files, but pristine sound. It's used in studios, radio, and professional settings. AAC is Apple's go-to format, offering better quality than .mp3 at the same size. .flac is the audio file's favorite, compressed but still lossless. And .ogg, it's open source, flexible, and gaining ground in gaming and streaming. These formats live in phones, audio editors, voice assistants, and music platforms. Their strength is variety. You can pick the format that suits your need for quality, space, or compatibility. The challenge? Not all devices support every type. Video files? Videos are complicated beasts. They combine images, audio, and metadata, all wrapped in a container file. The major ones? .mp4, .avi, .mkv, .mov, and .webm. MP4, built on the MPEG-4 standard, is the undisputed king of video. It works almost everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, your smartphone, MOV, is Apple's version, used heavily in macOS and iOS. .avi, from Microsoft, was one of the earliest, but lacks modern compression. MKV is open source and super versatile, popular among anime and film fans. And .webm is built for the web, fast loading and efficient. These files are everywhere, in streaming platforms, phone cameras, surveillance systems, and social media feeds. Strengths? They store huge amounts of data, support subtitles, multiple audio tracks, and modern codecs. But they're also storage hogs, and encoding, decoding them can be CPU intensive. Compressed files. Compressed files reduce file size and bundle multiple files together. You'll recognize them as .zip, .rar, .7z, and .tar, .gz. Zip was invented in 1989 by Phil Katz and is the most widely used. It compresses data and packages it into a single file, 
making downloads and sharing easier. Rare, Rochelle Archive, offers better compression ratios, but it's proprietary. .7z from 7-zip is open source and super efficient. Tar, GZ is Unix. Linux's native way to bundle and compress files often used in server environments. Use cases, backups, software downloads, email attachments. You save space, reduce transfer time, and keep things tidy. Their main strength is efficiency, especially when moving lots of files. But if one compressed archive becomes corrupted, you could lose everything inside. Executable files. Executable files do things. They contain code that runs a program. Common types include .exe, .bat, .msi, and .app. .exe is the default for Windows. Double-click it, and it launches a program. .bat files run command line scripts, often used for automation. MSI handles installations on Windows with added control. On Mac OS, .app files act like packages that hold the program and its resources. They're powerful and risky. These files can do anything from installing your favorite game to launching malware. In real-world use, you'll encounter them in software installers, startup scripts, and auto-updaters. Their strength lies in direct control and performance, but caution is essential, especially with unknown sources. System files. System files are the backbone of your operating system. They often hide behind the scenes, ending in extensions like .sys, .dll, .ini, or .plist. DLL, Dynamic Link Library Files, used in Windows, store shared code for multiple programs. .sys files are drivers or core system instructions. .ini files hold configuration settings. On macOS, .plist property list, files manage app preferences. You'll rarely interact with these directly, unless you're troubleshooting or customizing your system. But remove or corrupt one, and your whole machine could misbehave. They're essential for stability and performance, but fragile, and tampering with them can break things fast. Database files. Database files store structured data. Think of them as organized digital filing cabinets. You'll see formats like .db, .sqlite, .mdb, and .acdb. DB is a generic extension used in many apps. .sqlite is a lightweight database format used in mobile apps and browsers. .mdb and .accdb are for Microsoft Access, still used in small to mid-sized business systems. They power everything from your to-do list app to enterprise inventory systems. Strength, speedy access to structured information. Limitation, they require specific software to interact with and can become corrupted if mishandled. Code files. Code files are where software begins. These plain text files include .html, .css, .js, .py, .java, .cpp, and many more. Each one belongs to a programming language. .html builds web pages. .css styles them. .js adds interactivity. Py is for Python scripts. .java powers. Android apps. And .cpp is used in systems like games and operating software. These files are editable, readable, and shareable. Developers use them to write instructions, create tools, or automate tasks. Their biggest strength is flexibility. You can build anything with them. But they also require skill and discipline. A single typo can crash a system. Backup and disk image files. Backup files preserve a snapshot of your data or system. Examples include .back, .iso, .dmg, and .vhd. Bach is a generic backup extension. .iso is a disk image, a full clone of a CD, DVD, or even a hard drive. .dmg is Mac OS's version used to distribute apps or archive files. VHD is a virtual hard disk used in virtualization environments. These are common in IT, software distribution, and data recovery. Their superpower is preservation. They store an entire state of data or system in one file, but they're large, sometimes encrypted, and not easily editable. Font files. Fonts are stored as files too, usually as .ttf, true type font, .otf, open type font, or .wav, web open font format. TTF and .otf are installed on computers and used in design, documents, and websites. .wf is optimized for the web, smaller, and faster loading. 
Designers, developers, and publishers all rely on these. They bring personality and clarity to text. The challenge? Licensing issues and cross-browser support can cause headaches. Temporary files. Temporary files, often .tmp or, are created by software as placeholders. They might store autosaves, logs, or partial downloads. While meant to be deleted after use, they often linger, cluttering storage or causing odd behavior. They're vital during active processes, but mostly invisible and disposable. Think of them as the scratch paper of your system, helpful but messy if left behind. And this is just the surface. There are specialized formats for 3D models, medical scans, AI training, and even blockchain data. Curious to dive deeper? In the next episode, we'll explore every file system explained, the logic behind how files are stored, accessed, and secured on drives and networks. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned, the next bite might just change how you see your digital world.